This video shows how to create a custom KPI report using BMC Remedy Smart Reporting. Mary, the IT manager, is looking at the history and summary KPI reports for change management and incident management. She requires a KPI report that is not a part of the existing out-of-the-box reports for incident management. She asks Beck, the reporting analyst and administrator for BMC Remedy AR system and BMC Remedy Smart Reporting to create a KPI report using a different variable that is not present in the existing system. Beth logs in as an administrator in BMC Remedy Developer Studio and from the AR system navigator expands server name all objects. She right clicks flashboard variables and clicks new flashboard variable. In the new flashboard variable wizard, she opens the form selector window and selects remedy instant management from the application drop down menu to display the forms related to instant management. She then selects the HPD colon impacted areas form and clicks finish. Beth enters the following values in the fields. For the variable panel fields, she keeps the default values. In the operational panel, she keeps the default selection of count and under group by, selects the following values. For primary, she selects company. For secondary, she selects department. For tertiary, she selects site group and for quaternary, she selects organization. In the data collection panel, Beth selects the collect data checkbox, adds the start date and time and under history, collection interval, selects daily. For the fields under the history sub-panel, and the summary sub panel. She keeps the default values. In the properties tab, she enters the description for the variable in the new description field. She keeps the default value for permissions and clicks save. Beth then enters the name of the variable as hpd colon INC colon impacted areas for incident management. She clicks OK for the group access node. From the AR system navigator, Beth double clicks filters. She right clicks the FP colon set group for smart reporting KPIs filter and clicks create overlay to create an overlay of the filter. Beth double clicks the overlaid filter to maximize the filter and then opens the set fields panel. She then opens the expressions editor for the qualification field. Beth copies one existing name syntax and then at the end of the syntax clicks OR and then pastes the copied syntax. She then renames the name of the newly pasted syntax to hpd colon inc colon impacted areas for incident management and clicks OK. She then clicks OK for the overlay type confirmation node and clicks save. Beth now logs in to the BMC Remedy mid-tier and opens the Flashboard's user privilege form in search mode. She then clicks New Request to open the form in New Mode. Beth clicks the drop-down menu for the Variable Name field and selects the newly created Flashboard variable HPD colon INC colon impacted areas for incident management from the drop-down list. She then clicks the drop-down menu 
for the user field and selects Alan to whom she wants to provide access. She clicks the drop down menu for the group field and selects the incident user group to which she wants to provide access. She clicks save to save the form. Now, Beth logs in as an administrator in BMC Remedy Smart Reporting and on the main console clicks Administration Admin Console. In the panel on the right side, she clicks Views AR System. From the list of views, she selects the KPI view. In the new window that is displayed, in the already selected General tab, Beth clicks Edit from the bottom of the screen. On the Edit View screen, Beth clicks Continue with the Clone option selected. In this new window, Beth clicks 2 to go to the next screen. From the left panel, Beth clicks Calculated Fields, Formula Builder, Metric and drags and drops the metric to the Incident KPI History category. Beth double clicks the newly added metric which is automatically renamed to Formula Builder Metric. She then enters the name of the metric in the business name field as impacted areas and the description in the description field as impacted areas for incident management. At the bottom of the screen, she clicks the formula tab. Beth now clicks sum, case and then when. In the when clause window, under when, Beth selects KPI name from the drop-down list and then clicks Add. She then selects the equal to operator and clicks Add. She enters the name of the flashboard variable HPD colon INC colon impacted areas for incident management in the field next to the select field drop-down and clicks Add. Under then, she selects value from the select field drop-down menu and clicks add. And then she clicks OK. Beth clicks end and the end bracket button and then clicks activate. The metric is now renamed. She then clicks 3 to go to the next step. She clicks activate to save and activate the KPI cloned view. Beth removes the word clone from the view name field to name the view as KPI and adds the description of the view as KPI view. She then clicks activate. In the new window that is displayed, Beth clicks close. The KPI view is now updated. To create a custom KPI report using the new metric, Beth clicks Create Report. She then clicks KPI. The impacted areas metric is now available to create reports. Beth emails Mary and asks her to create a custom KPI report using this new metric. This is how you create a custom KPI report. Thanks for watching.